Tonight we're going to be tying um, a version of Matt Grobert's Caribou Caddis Emerger. Um, we're going to be substituting uh, medium coastal deer hair for the wing of the fly. Let's first start by mashing our barb down on our hook. I'm going to be using a size 14 Dairiki number 300 dry fly hook. Thread tonight is the UTC uh, 70 denier in a brown olive. I'm going to start about two um, hook eyes back. And using touching wraps back to the point of the hook. Dubbing for the body of the fly is Hair's Ear Plus, dubbing in a dark olive. You can use whatever would match the naturals in your area as well. Put a little bit of wax on here. Make a nice, thin, tapered dubbing noodle. Leave a little space at the top so you have the opportunity to wrap back to the bend of the hook before you start. I like to leave the dubbing noodle on this. It's tight but it still has a little bit of shagginess to it and I like that for the kind of overall bugginess of this fly. Cord this back up. All right. Be taking this back to just to the bend of the hook. Starting that dubbing there. And then using touching wraps, working forward to build up a nice tapered body to your fly. And you want to stop right here at your tie-in point. A little bit of excess. All right. For the underwing of the fly, we're going to be using the polypropylene floating yarn and tan. Take a three or four inch section from the hank and then divide that in half for your under ring, underwing. Cut that edge that you're going to be tying in nice and even. Okay. Tie this right on to the front of the hook. Use a couple collecting wraps and then tug it back and then wrap this all the way up to the eye of the hook and then back to the end of the body. Okay. For uh, judging the, the size of that underwing, we're going to take it just to the back of the hook bend and snipping it off right there. For the wing of the fly, we're going to be using medium coastal deer hair. I like using this instead of the caribou um, here in Missouri because I feel like it matches um, the natural caddis flies that we have here a little bit better than the, um, than the caribou does. Cut off about a half a pencil in diameter of the deer hair. Okay. Put that in your, clean it out, clean out those fuzzies, and put it in your hair stacker. Okay. Got them nice and even. Get rid 
of those few loose ones that are there. All right, so this top wing needs to go just a little bit further back than the under wing does, just beyond the bend of the hook. Okay, pinch that on there nice and securely. Make sure you got it on the top of the hook. Do one collecting wrap. Go around a second time. Pull that tight. Do two more wraps. Then using the eye of the hook as a guide, start trimming all that excess hair back. It's not pretty, but it works. All right. Once you've got that all trimmed up, so I still have a few here I need to clean off. There we go. Take your thread. Again, wrap it forward, just like you did with the underwing, to the eye of the hook. Work your way back. Got one little wily one here that doesn't want to cooperate. All right. So you can see wings sitting nicely on the top. We didn't tie in front of that hair because we didn't want to totally flare it up as far as we do on um, an elk hair caddis. This is going to be an emerger, so it's going to be sitting in the film. We want it to sit low in the water, have kind of a low profile. Okay. I got my high tack swax for the front of the fly. too much on there. Don't need a whole lot of this. We're going to be touch dubbing with some rabbit fur for the front of this fly. So you need to have enough on there that will hold that dubbing in place, but not so much that it's going to gum up the front of your fly. We're using the wasp, the Wopsy rabbit all-purpose dubbing. I've got a tan here tonight. Pull out some nice little tufts of that and just begin to touch it to that tacky swax on your thread. You want this to be fairly even but not too heavy. You're kind of building up a almost like a little furry cloud on the front or on that thread body. All right, so go back to the tie-in point of the that upper wing and take that dubbing and begin to wrap forward towards the eye of the hook. It's going to it's going to build up. As it builds up, just take a moment and just keep swiping that fur back. What you're doing is you're building a a cone of this fur around the wing of the fly. And what this does is it catches air and holds air and makes this really wonderful bubble that travels behind the fly in the water. Make a nice little head.
and then you can finish with either a whip finish or a half hitch to finish the fly. This is a really versatile fly. It can be fished dry and skittered across the surface. It works great in fast water. Um, it's also a really fun fly to put behind something heavy, to drop behind something heavy, and what it does is it flutters up and down in the current behind it. Alright, and that's our Coastal Deer Hair Merger.